how do you form like is every property its own separate uh, capitalized uh, or do you have like a hold code that holds all of them or I'm ignorant so like is it a, yeah like, like how do you collateralize um like well, you got, get construction got, loans i assume right uh, given you're taking on that risk um yeah so it's a little well, different got, than you've yeah. got like the land itself which can be used as collateral so if you bought a lot or a piece mm -hmm. of land with cash and there's no debt on it then you can probably gotcha. build a house without having to put any more equity in or you can finance okay. the lot and then roll that into a construction loan um the properties we have are in a fund so there's like the fund has all those properties held in it they do have different banks and different um mm -hmm. loans for each property but i think in the future there's a real scenario where we collateralize that into one facility um you know we try to go like long paperwork wise that would be a little yeah hassle, but... it would be i mean like there's just there's a nice thing about having different banks like every bank does something better and worse than the others. Mm. And so having those relationships, it there's two, there's a point of diminishing returns with that, right? You don't want 20 banks, but to have two, three, four banks is probably a good thing. Um, and then I think like, you know, with real estate, it's kind of game or th game of thrones. And I think this is people don't realize it, but it's like, you kind of win or you die. I mean, it's like when yeah. you have leverage, right? I mean, there's only two outcomes really. I mean, you either have a successful project or you don't, and the non-successful projects can be can be bad. So that's what comes back to the being conservative. But like the underwriting for these loans is pretty strict. I mean, like they want, you know, 30 to 40% mm -hmm. down. Um, maybe you, if you, someone went out and did it on a one off, they could probably do like a second home type mortgage and get 20% down or 15% down maybe and, and have it, you know, on a one off basis, but like for a commercial size yeah. uh, type thing, like they want you to uh, pledge collateral, they want a lot of equity. And then I think like, after you get track record and after you pay down debt, you can get, um, you know, non-recourse debt at some point. And so in most of the things we've done, we try to have a pathway to non-recourse where it's like, Hey, after we get to 40% equity or whatever, this goes yeah. non-recourse, just the property is.